season two of Stranger Things is here. It is on Netflix. I've spent all day binge watching it, all nine episodes. I loved season one last year, so I was extremely excited for season two. And does season two live up to the hype? Yeah, it, it really does. The acting, once again, across the board is incredible. The kids in this show, straight up, just one of the best friendships put to screen in recent years. They actually feel like friends, they talk like friends, they have their friend cord, and they have the really good bickering between them, but they actually have the great friendship, and they really come together in their moments of need, and it provides the heart and soul of this show. Winona Ryder was really good once again, so was David Harbour, Millie Bobby Brown as Eleven was also really, really good once again. And this being a season and two, you've got some new cast members in there as well, like Sean Astin's in the show this time, and he was really good. The fact that Sean Astin is in this show is just great, because it's all about 80s homages, and he was Mike in the Goonies, so it was cool that they put him in there. There's also a new addition to the Circle of Friends, Max, a new girl, I liked her. She has a bit of a troubled past, and she's got, got a bit of an attitude, but I liked her. She was a cool character, and her brother, played by the guy who looks like Zac Efron, but he was actually the main guy in the new Power Rangers film, he was good. Nancy, Jonathan, Steve, once again, all really great. There is not a single thing wrong with any of the performances in this show. They're all absolutely 1000% top notch. One of the things that is so great about this show, I said this in my season 1 review last year, is that it has all the 80s homages but it never gets lost in the homages because when you're homaging something you can ride that line of being a homage but if you homage it so much you can fall into the trap of starting to rip off whatever you're homaging and Stranger Things never does that. It's the show's characters, the show's story and the show's emotion and the show's mythology that drives this show to its greatness. The 80s look and feel to it is like icing on a cake. It makes it look better and it also gives it that extra flavour that makes it just a little bit more awesome. But one of the great things about season 2 is that it's, a, it's much more of a slow burn than season 1 was. In the first couple of episodes not a lot really happens but it's all building up to the big conclusion obviously. And just like in season 1 you see some storylines you're like why are we concentrating on this again? What's the point of this? But they all end up serving a purpose to the overall storyline. With the exception of Eleven's storyline actually which again I'm not going to spoil but she has like like a separate campaign to everybody else's but she had a really compelling arc to her as well there's one episode actually that kind of dedicates itself to Eleven and I was like I don't really know what to think about this it's completely gone against the entire feel of the show but I stuck with it and eventually it had a point and purpose and I understood what they were going for and it worked. So yeah, season two is more of a slow burn compared to season one and that's what makes the ending of the season so satisfying because you've taken your time with the characters and the story, you've developed and you've fleshed them out a little bit more and then you get to the conclusion and it's just all the more emotionally impacting. Seriously, there are some parts towards the end of the last couple of episodes where I was straight up tearing up. It's these characters, man, I mean, hits you where you live. I also like the villainous aspect of the show as well, which again I'm not going to spoil, but it's a much more of a psychological antagonist in season 2. Like, it, it, des it definitely has its physical threats as well, but the main villain is all psychological. It also plays up some of the horror of it as well. There's definitely some moments which are quite freaky, I'm not going to lie. Overall, season 2 was another fantastic addition to the Stranger Things series. I hear they want to do four seasons of Stranger Things, bring them all on. If this is a new yearly tradition, Jesus, just put it on the calendar already. The characters are great, the ages of homages are still great, and the mythology is also expanded a little bit more in season 2, and I just love the mythology and lore of this show. And the intrigue of that mythology definitely does drive the show along with those characters who are further developed, and you just like and care about them even more. Like I said, I was tearing up in some parts, and towards the end, there's so many sweet moments, so many moments of just sheer emotional resonance with these characters. I love Stranger Things season 2, and thinking about it more and more, it just resonates with me so much more. I was going to give it a 4.5 out of 5, but screw it. I'm going to give Stranger Things Season 2 a 5 out of 5. So Stranger Things Season 2, have you watched it? What did you think about it? Did you like it more than Season 1? I would put Season 1 just a tiny bit more than Season 2 because it was that sense of discovery, you know, like, oh, brand new show and these characters are so great. It's hard to replicate that surprise with a brand new show. So that's why I think Season 1 is just a little bit better than Season 2. But tell me what you think of it in the comments below. And if you want to see more of my stuff, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.